Good afternoon. My name is Patience Atim, and I'm the communications officer at Window International Uganda. It's very good to have you. Thank you for honoring our invite. As you are aware, tomorrow is International Youth Day, and we thought we would take some time to hear from you, the youth, on what you are doing. The theme is interesting. It's youth engagement for global action. And we know that some of you have work that you're already doing. And to guide us through, the, through this discussion, we have Samantha um, Gatwal and John Bosco. John Bosco is having some trouble connecting, but I think that we should start when he comes in, he'll quickly introduce himself and get, and get the conversation going. For now, um, I would like to invite Samantha and Gatwal to just introduce themselves, tell us where they are and what they're currently doing. Samantha, you can take it up. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Hello. Samantha Biaki, and uh, I'm a Window Trust alumni. I was with Window Trust in Senior 3 till my last year, my career in university. I'm currently in the state, uh, in Ohio State, in Akron City, and um, I'm doing a lot, yeah. Currently, I'm the executive director with Betamind. Both Betamind, Betamind has two branches, one in Uganda and the other one in America. So I started a foundation to help refugees. Then I'm the uh, program assistant manager, refugee youth mentoring with Asia Inc. And again, patient care navigator still with uh, Asia Inc. about refugees and immigrants. Yeah. Wow, that's quite a full plate. Thank you, Samantha. Gatwal, just take it away. Tell us, tell us what you're doing and so that we can have, get this conversation rolling. Gatwal? Hi, uh, good, good afternoon. And, good afternoon. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Samantha. It must be very early in this state right now. I know, it's seven. Thank you to patience, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, my name is Gatwal Gatkost. Uh, I am a RBD here in Uganda. I'm also uh, a DAPI scholar, uh, you know, doing my, <clears throat> my, my undergraduate degree in, um, you know, KIU. And uh, just like anyone, so the, the pandemic has disrupted, you know, every business, including schools. And also it's some, you know, it was some it's opportunity, you know, to reflect on your life. So currently I'm, uh, uh, I'm compiled here in Western Uganda, uh, you know, in Chaka, of course, and uh, I'm doing some work within my room. So, um, yeah, so just, you know, trying to catch up and reflect uh, on, you know, on what it will be after the pandemic. So currently we are working on, on a project in Kriadongo uh, with the U.S. Embassy with refugees. And that involved, you know, a translation of um, some materials, HIV awareness uh, for refugees, and also capacity building and, um, you know, entrepreneurial skills development for refugee women in Triadango. Thank you so much, Gatwal. Um, so from, from what Gatwal and Samantha have shared with us, I see you're already in line with the theme for, for International Youth Day tomorrow. And the theme is youth engagement for global action. Samantha, could you just take us through what that means for you in your line of work and what you're doing right now? Uh, with uh, it being that it's Youth Day and uh, the theme actually is the really meaning of it. Um, it has a, can I say it's, it's goes straight to what we are doing right now because it being that many people, what people had in mind, what they believed in, the myth that they had that I being young or straight from university, straight from college, straight from high school, there's nothing that I can give back to the community because I'm young, I'm not experienced. But it's, I realized that it was wrong because my engagement into the community was through Window Trust. Window Trust showed us a way of impacting people's life. Even when you are still young, you can do something. So they would encourage us to give back to the community. We would go uh, to camps and give back to the communities so when i came to the state i was like i have a better position to up back the community and this being uh the refugees because i've been a refugee so i can help and remove the mouth from the refugees because they know like me being a youth i'm more of a refugee there's nothing i can do so i was like let me get into the community and do something as a youth to give more power and energy to more refugees and especially the youth. 
Wow, thank you so much, Samantha. Gatwal, what does youth engagement for global action mean to you? Well, thank you, Patient. I think this is a very important uh, <clears throat> topic for discussion today. And uh, I just want to build on, on uh, what Samantha has just said already. So I think the world um, should look at the, the young people, you know, from a different perspective, not just the young people that should be taught what to do and, you know, just went and follow uh, orders. So uh, it is a different world today, um, also giving the, the impact of pandemic. So I think the young people should take action. So, you know, they should, um, you know, take action, you know, to mobilize community for actions. And they should also, you know, be at the front lines, you know, um, in their community, especially in this pandemic, whereby they are responding, you know, uh, to awareness campaigns and also, you know, making decisions uh, that will impact themselves and impact their community. So I think it is very important to look at the perspective of youth in terms of scaling because um, the world of today is different from the world of, um, of, 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 of the past decades. So whereby young people should, um, you know, should really possess this skill that can enable them uh, to create job for themselves and can advocate you know, for, you know, for, for, for their right and can also enable them to build, and, to build better and sustainable society. So we are at the prosperance so of everything in our community, in our life, and I think we should take charge of our, ourselves and take charge of our communities. Thank you so much. Gatwal, I'll just take you back. You are, you, you talk about being at the front line and the forefront of, of, of everything in the community. I know that you've been doing so much work with the US Embassy, especially, and earlier, earlier, earlier this year, you, you were a panelist or a participant at a, a meeting with UNHCR. How, how are you able to get to these platforms? Is there, is there a trick that you can share with other youth like you? How are you doing this? How are you getting to those platforms? And what does it mean for you as a youth? Yeah, thank you for that follow-up question, uh, uh, patient. So uh, just to put it right, so I've uh, been doing some engagement uh, with the UN Security Council. And uh, uh, currently, uh, I'm part of the Global Coalition on Youth, Peace, and Security. Uh, Youth, Peace, and Security is the UN Security Agenda uh, on Youth, Peace, and Security Resolution 2250. And um, Ali, uh, I supposed to go to the States and brief the UN Security Council before the pandemic, you know, um, came up. <clears throat> so, uh, but I, I was able to brief the Security Council uh, on, on, you know, partially, uh, you know, on, 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 on the resolution on peace, on use peace and security in 250, uh, together with the UN uh, Secretary General and with the UN Secretary General Envoy. So, um, and also we've been doing some, you know, some work with the U.S. Embassy, as you put it um, rightly. So, you, your question is, what is the secret of all this? Yes. Uh, to me, it's very simple. So, there's no secret. So, it's just being, you know, thinking outside the box. So, you don't have to say that I am still a student now and I am so much helpless. So, you have to think outside the box and you have to try to, to see whatever skill you have. And it begins with engaging with community, as the matter I said earlier, that you have to engage with the grassroots community. Once you engage with the grassroots community, you'll be able to understand what they are going through. You will be able to analyze, you know, uh, the issue they have. And you can, you know, uh, from that, you can begin to, you know, to prepare yourself to become a voice. So uh, with me, so, um, you know, before I, you know, I got this scholarship with, uh, from the Winter Trust, so I've been uh, off idle for some time and I use my time you know to to make sure that uh, I engage with the community with the refugee community I also use you know uh, the advantage of technology to connect with people and to look out for opportunities so Thank all you. that has come in handy yeah has come in handy and mm -hmm. um, that's the secret no, no thank you secret. so much so the secret is really thinking out outside the box, uh, the box. thinking outside yeah. the box that's what you're, li you're leaving yeah. us with Samantha yeah. you you are doing so much you're doing so much. I wonder how you're managing to juggle all that. For, for, for other people, in your, for other students and youth like you, they would be saying, well, I am a student. I don't have time. What, what is your secret to balancing all of this, Samantha? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I do have a bigger secret, but my secret is being organized. Yeah, because 
when I came to the States, I never got the time to rest and get used to their hours. I came and after one day, I started working. I was already working. So it was really hard for me. At first, I was like, I can't manage because in Africa, the time is totally different. And in America, it's totally different. I just from the plane and they're telling me there is an interview you have to do. And I did the interview tomorrow. They call me and they're like, can you start tomorrow? And I'm like, but I'm not even used to the time. Like I was sleepy by that time. I like everything was confusing. So directly I started I mean, in the office, I'm new, I've never been in office apart from being in internship at World Vision. So it was really hard. So being in office, actually I've been with refugees for quite a time. I've been a refugee in Uganda for eight years. I saw how USCR was treating us. I saw everything. So what I found out this side is totally different. It's like better people being back. It's totally different. I was like, no, let me get myself engaged and help my fellow refugee. I'm a refugee, though I no longer have that status. But one thing that I usually tell people, once you're a refugee, that name will never leave your forehead. So wherever you go, you'll be identified as a refugee. Even up to now, I'm a, I mean, a green card older, but they call me refugee. Or oh, when I, I talk about something, they'll always put the last name for my refugee. So I was like, let me get engaged. I don't have time yet, but there are people who can't sleep. I can't sleep, but there are people who can't sleep. So I had to start the um, better mind as an idea just. And I was like, I'll take it as Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Then with time, I saw it growing and people needed my time. So I was like, let me reduce my time so that I can get enough time also for classes. Mm-hmm. By reducing time, uh, my, our CEO was like, Sam- sorry, I'm seeing your engagement in the community and I want you to get another position to move from where you are and be higher. So that's when I went to the conference in Washington and coming back from Washington, they're like, you get a, a mentoring position with youth. So I was like, I really don't have time, but I was like, let me just say yes, because there are people who need me. So that's when I just started organizing myself. I'm like, Monday I'll do this, Tuesday I'll do this, Wednesday I'll do this, as long as I give back to my community. And yes, it is helping me. So my secret is being organized. Thank you so much. So with organization, you're able to do a number of things. Tell us a bit about Better Minds. What exactly do you do? Okay, Better Mind is a foundation. It's uh, about refugee empowerment. Yeah, and uh, youth uh, career guidance. Actually, that idea, I started, I came up with that idea since I was in Uganda, but I didn't have a platform to exercise it. So reaching here, I still talked to a friend of mine. I was like, I still have an idea of helping refugees. So the person told me, you can't do it. You're still new in America. You know nothing about refugee. You've just been a refugee, but you know nothing about being with refugees. So I was like, myself, I believe that if you have, a dream for something, go after it. So that's when I went and uh, started a group of about four youth in America. I was like, I want to guide you because people come here, especially those who come from camps. We are like it as who come from uh, urban. We are a bit evolved. We are, bit, we are seeing things, but people come from camp. I really pity them because they don't have that luck like us who are urban. Everything is totally different, especially those who come from, I mean, Tanzania. Uh, they don't have access to school. They don't have access to light. So everything is totally different. So I was like, I'll help you, guide you. They go to school, but they don't even know what they're up to after school. Then I school years to university, but they don't know anything. Careers. Like, I'll mentor you. After a few days, they came up with others. So I was like, also, there's need for women. Women were... Um, Samantha? Yes? Yeah, thank you so much. You were breaking a bit. Thank you. So Better Minds is mentoring refugees and also helping refugees adapt to the new life upon... So it's about, um, it's about youth mentoring, women empowerment, and refugee integration. Thank you so yes. much. Thank you. Um, Gatwal? If I could just get back to you, what, what are some of those challenges that you think come in the way of youth engagement? Gatwal? <clears throat> well, uh, thank you. Yes, I can hear you. Can you? Uh, I can hear your patient. Yes. Give, well, give us just uh, I, I think 
top of the list, the few the, yeah. the, the challenges you face. Yeah. Yeah, th thank you. Uh, you know, uh, f f you know. First, first of all, uh, I, I have to say that there are a number of challenges young people are facing today, uh, and and one of them is, uh, you know, the skill deficit. So uh, a lot of young people don't have the right skills that will, you know, take them to places or will allow them, you know, to to pursue their dreams or, um, you know, uh, chase what they, whatever they want to do. So escape deficit is one of, of the greatest challenge young people are facing. And the second one uh, is that, you know, a techno technology, uh, because um, not many young people are having access to technology today. And we are, we are talking about the 21st century, whereby uh, things are changing very fast and technology is at the center of everything. So for young people to access opportunity online, so opportunity online, so they must have access to technology. And when I say access to technology, I'm talking about, you know, uh, the technological gadgets, like the computer, the phone that we're using today. And yes. secondly, you know, yeah, secondly, the most important thing is access to internet. Yeah. Thank you. So last say, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you so much. We, we are taking note of that. Um, Samantha, what are what are those challenges that you're that, that you're facing that are different from maybe what Gatwal has mentioned? Just in case there are some of your challenges, what are those challenges that come in the way of youth engagement that you may be facing, or some friends that you know are actually facing? Uh, I think Gatwal has mentioned most of them, and also belief. As youth, we still have the belief that I can't do this because I'm not yet forty. I'm not yet fifty. Yeah, that is really putting us down because we don't believe in ourselves, we are lacking self-confidence. Uh -huh. Thank you. So yeah. Gatwal and Samantha, you are both Duffy alumni. Yes. Right? And yeah. I just want to know from you, how has the Duffy scholarship program prepared you for your life right now, for what you're doing right now with your life? How would you say that Duffy scholarship program has prepared you for that? Samantha, you can go. Uh -huh. I mean, Daffy scholarship has prepared me enough. Currently, I feel like I can face anything because of the Daffy scholarship. Uh, it has given me the platform to education, and that's enough. Like me being impacted, I can still help others because of the. I mean, being impacted with education and knowing things, and especially skills, they gave us opportunity to go to conferences and socialize. Not only education, but even time to socialize. And on top of it, they showed us how people out there are in need of our help. However much we are not at the level of the president to help, but with the small that we have, we can still help. Yeah, that's well. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, I think uh, I have to say that I'm still um, a scholar, not uh, yeah. alumni yet. Oh, you, yeah, you're very... still a scholar, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, just to say uh, what uh, DAF has helped me uh, through, um, first of all, is a big community, is a big global community that has a big network of alumni. And whenever I have life opportunities, whenever I mention that I'm a DAPI, uh, um, you know, scholar, so um, I think it gave me a chance, it gave me a way, uh, you know, to access some of this, uh, you know, uh, you know, skill building opportunities and uh, fellowship. That is uh, one. Second, I, I have to, you know, it gave me a, a personal reflection in a way that um, I, I always say that I'm, 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 I'm one of the lucky few because there are a lot, a lot of young people who were looking, you know, Robert is looking for these opportunities, but they can't get them. And they are, they are as, as talented as I am, or most of them, they are academic talented more than I am, but I, I'm, you know, privileged and lucky, to, you, know, to, you know, to be a scholar. And I have to use this opportunity, um, you know, to push me. So it gave me determination. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. So what, what more, other than what you have told us, are you each doing to attain global action in, the, in, in your work that you're doing? What more, other than what you have told us, are you doing to attain global action? Samantha? Um, I think I should rephrase that. <laughs> um, in your work that you're doing, is there anything else that you're doing or any particular focused work that you're doing towards global action in your work? 
Uh, what else I'm doing? It's uh, volunteering and also recruiting volunteers oh, with the uh, Red Cross. I'm a youth volunteer recruiter. So I'm just showing, like, kind of bringing this youth, especially I'm all, all, my, all my work is focused on refugees and immigrants only. Like, I don't involve the host community. I'm involving most of the youth, um, youth refugees and immigrants. I'm getting them involved in different organizations to learn and see how they can give back to their community. With Red Cross, there's many ways you can give back to your community, especially when it comes to volunteering. Yeah. Thank you so much. Gatwal, do you have anything? Yeah, that yeah, you are yeah. Doing? Uh, yes. Uh, I, I think you know I'm, I'm so much you know engaged with uh, something to do with globalization because we're trying to see the world is is not uh, always the same, and this concept mm. of globalization has so much effect mm. on, on 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 Africa and the rest of this you know global south. So. Yes. Is, you know, I've been, you know, spending most of my time trying to connect with people, with young people doing mentorship and trying to see whether they can adapt this concept of globalization, whereby whatever happened in Shanghai, so they can be able to do it here in Uganda mm -hmm. or somewhere in Tanzania. So that's yeah. one. So second to that, so uh, I've been also trying to engage, uh, you know, on education advocacy, trying to see that, say, you know, uh, using my platform that, you know, there are a lot of young people there who don't have, you know, the opportunity to go to school. And if possible, please, you know, look this way and try to help them. And lastly, um, lastly, I will be very brief, lastly, is social entrepreneurship. So uh, this is a very, very, you know, uh, important area as the matter take, you know, in Uganda, you know, the, the office of the prime minister, uh, uh, Department of Robbie has a policy of economic integration of Robbie whereby we don't see Robbie as as uh, economic burden, but can be, you know, economic dividends somehow, somewhere. And this would only be possible if there, there is, you know, campaign, there are, you know, uh, you know initiative that enable Robbie is skill development. So I've been using this, uh, you know, this this area like, hey, you know, there are people here in Uganda, there are refugees somewhere else who has potential, but they don't have access to his skill. So please, could you try to look this way and try to consider them somehow, some, you know, uh, in some way? Yeah. Thank you. And Thank the you new so as well. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Gatwal. Thank you so much, Samantha. Um, I like I like that what you are all doing is really towards uh, towards achieving global action because wherever we are we are all a part of the globe so thank you so much for the great work that you're doing i know a number of people are going to learn from this and i know that you're all available to respond to their questions when, whenever there are any because we will definitely redirect them thank you so much for making time to meet with us and to share with us those insights i wish you all a very happy Youth Day tomorrow, and from Window International, we continue to commit to providing access to quality education and training. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the opportunity. It's really, I think it's really a pleasure being uh, on Window Platform and still impacting life. Thank you thank so you, much. Amanda. Thank you. That's all. Any thank, thank you. Fetch. Yeah. Thank you, Fetch, and, and thank you, uh, Tamanta. Uh, nice getting uh, to know about you and thanks to everyone so uh window trust and daffy is a big community and we will continue to be part thank you for the opportunity thank you so much